To do this year, the queen quite coming. Honor from right here, Ponce and Tell Nile and South Kakalaki in the Gullah Geechee Nation. Honor, chill and Gullah Geechee Nation appreciation week this year. Yeah, we a time, a time, a time, y'all. Yeah. Well, great God in here, but yet not tall, tall. This year night, we did the MJ Soul Food right here on Sea Island Parkway in the heart of St. Helena Island and thing like that. We all need your Gullah Geechee to be. Now, plenty of Honor, chill and more every day before. And I realize this in Telna Island, they're still 90 to 95% Gullah Geechee on and thing like that. So we want on the chill. If you ain't been here this year time, for come next time for Join We Write Ya. We this the first time we did to MJS for Gullah Geechee National Appreciation Night. Now look what blessing God said. While we are in South Kakalaki, and get this your mail from North Kakalaki. They say one more county up Yona joining in the celebration. So I want a hundred children for yet edition. Proclamation, Gullah Geechee Nation Appreciation Week for the county of Penda. Whereas the Gullah Geechee people are descendants of enslaved Africans who lived a labored life and in relative isolation in the coastal rice growing regions of mainland North America during the antebellum period. And whereas, because of their isolation, the Gullah Geechee people were able to develop and maintain the distinct Gullah culture, language, traditions, food ways, music, and artistic expression. And whereas in 2006, the United States Congress passed legislation that was signed by President George W. Bush, creating the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor to recognize the important contributions made to the American culture and history by Gullah Geechee people. And whereas the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor embraces an area of approximately 12,000 square miles along the Atlantic coast, extending from southeastern North Carolina to northern Florida. And whereas the northern limit of the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor is Pender County. And whereas during the first half of the 18th century, the ancestors of the Gullah Geechee people arrived in what is now Pender County along with the first planters and their labor was crucial to the development of some of the largest rice plantations on the Cape Fear region. And whereas the Gullah Geechee people have continued to live in Pender County up to the present day. And whereas the first Gullah Geechee Nation Appreciation Week took place in the city of Charleston, South Carolina. And whereas this year, the Gullah Geechee Nation will honor one of the Emanuel Nine each day of the celebration, which is why it is nine days long and not seven days long. And now therefore, be it proclaimed that the Pender County Board of Commissioners do hereby proclaim that Saturday, July 25th through Sunday, August the 2nd, 2015, is Gullah Geechee Nation Appreciation Week in Pender County and affirmatively recognizes the significant contributions that the Gullah Geechee people have made to their history and the culture of Pender County and to our state and nation and supports the efforts to document and preserve historical and cultural assets of the Gullah Geechee people in Pender County. They adopted this on the seventh day of July, which would have been five days after the anniversary of my installment as Chief and Head of State for the Gullah Geechee Nation. It is signed by their chairman, who is J. David Williams, and by the clerk of the board, which is Melissa Henderson, and we thank Pender County, North Kakalaki, for joining we this year, year for your first time and thing like that and for Gullah Geechee Nation Appreciation Week. Many a hundred children yet this year in some of the other proclamation, but you might not know. I the one who had the vision for say we need to do something, make a trail or some other rest of kind of thing for have people come on true and help we for whole part the culture. And because I was working with the Underground Railroad, study which later now became the underground railroad network to freedom we got connected with congressman james Clyburn and then created another study about gullah geechee culture it took six years we then got legislation 
that actually then created the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Act that established the first national heritage area dedicated to a living culture of people of African descent. It became the 37th national heritage area, which is called the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor, which travels through the Gullah Geechee Nation. So we're in Pender County is the northernmost point of the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor. Jacksonville, North Carolina is the northernmost point of the Gullah Geechee Nation. And Jacksonville, Florida is the southernmost point of the Gullah Geechee Nation. So we're going to chill in the Yeti this year. And if you want to travel the corridor and see that sign and think with them and think like that, then you come right on through the Gullah Geechee Nation. So you'll see those signs on I-17, I-95. I was part of a two-member committee that worked on signage, and it is such a pride to see these signs. But more than that, to see the signs of unity and connection throughout the Gullah Geechee Nation, from North Kakalaki to right up on Centelna Island. Hunter children, like we say, the theme is a time for shout, and truly, it's a shouting time round y'all. And Hunter children, know if you're there with me, Hunter Gwai, know this year the work going on. So peace and blessing. This still the head upon the body of the Gullah Geechee Nation. Queen Quet coming from the home island this evening. We going to let her see a little bit of the pictures from We First Nature at MJ's Soul Food Punching. Where we take it slow 